Hello again, this is Mr. Wolfie, and this is a gameplay commentary on a game of Slayer Pro on Powerhouse that I played. Um, it's actually one of the first matchmaking games of Reach I played online, uh, and it's with two of my buddies, and we happen to be in the same house, so it's a good video to display teamwork and what teamwork should be, you know, communication and all that jazz. Um, Starts off slow, so I'll talk about a few things. Uh, for instance, I thought he was gonna kill me really hardcore here. It was an accident, and I got an assist, so I don't get mad. Um, people don't know how to use teamwork properly in this game. That's, I mean, there's no gentle way to put it. People tend to have a very, very uh, lone wolf mentality in that they think, oh. The only thing that matters is me getting a kill right now. I don't care if I die. I don't care if my teammates die. I got to get a kill right now um, so that I can win the game, not so that we can win the game. Um, when really, other than in free-for-all modes, uh, that's just a ludicrous way to play the game. And, you, you know, and it's kind of the fault of the designers because of the credit-based ranking system. And what it really does to gameplay is makes people want to get certain medals and things that require them to have the kill or them to have you know the least deaths and just things like that and so it, they just forget about what's really important which is playing the game as a team and winning as a team and instead just go for how many credits can I get this game um <laughs> grenade launcher fail this, as, I, as I said, this is one of my first games online, and I had played the campaign all the way through before doing this. So I do pretty well with all the headshot weapons, and um, really that's the only other weapons you see besides the grenade launcher in this video. Uh, but I hadn't got the hang of the grenade launcher yet. Uh, but now I'm actually quite adept with it. I mean, I can I impress myself sometimes. It's so lucky the kills I get with it but really all I get is I don't even get any assists I just kinda help out a few times and that sort of thing anyway back to the subject at hand uh, we are communicating very efficiently in this game I mean we're sitting back uh, watching out for each other we see the names pop up when they're in trouble and we move to help them I mean Right there I rushed up and it caused a little bit of trouble because that guy came behind us. If I had to sat back and uh, use my needle rifle instead of going for a melee, then we would have been, probably I wouldn't have uh, let my teammates die and uh, we still would have got the kill. So, I mean that's the main problem is people don't plan ahead, they just react. Which I know sometimes it's hard not to but Reach is a slow enough paced game that you shouldn't have to rush around like we did in Halo 3 you know AR starts or something like gotta go for beatdowns it's the only way to kill somebody it's like no this is this is Reach this is different work together shoot together and you're good um right here Butterbean calls for the sniper and he didn't ex uh he didn't exactly know where it was so I had to kinda use callouts to tell him where it was so that's another you know just communication I mean that's really the basic problem with people that play this game um I've met literally probably only four people that actually talk uh, and communicate like someone should <laughs> I don't even know how that guy died I think he grenaded himself but I mean, it doesn't even matter if wrong call -outs, just so long as you're making some callouts. Because if you say somebody's one shot and you say somewhere that isn't right, then you know I'm a smart enough person. I can assess that there really isn't a person over there, but there is a one shot guy somewhere where you were shooting. So I can figure it out, uh, you know, by process of elimination and maybe get him before his shields get back up or he gets away. And that's just a what if scenario but it's 
just people just need to learn to communicate to shoot the same targets and to stop getting angry when you quote unquote steal somebody's kill or get your kill stolen I mean it doesn't like Butterbean was not angry right there I saved his life I mean he's not cussing me out over the mic dude you stole my kill now I'm not gonna get eight extra credits I mean he's he was pretty happy to get away without a death there and I'm perfectly content with getting assists rather than kills I mean actually I'd rather have assists half the time because I like assist metal so that's one thing I kind of farm in this game it's one reason I like elite slayer I love running around with just the plasma rifle just shooting people I've actually got I think I'm like number 20 in the world for plasma rifle kills it's pretty funny because I barely ever play the game for some reason I dropped my needle rifle there I think I've had a pretty good amount of ammo but I mean the magnum magnum's a wonderful weapon it's a you know it's an old throwback to Halo 1 days a magnum that's actually fully functional by itself and really it's just a Halo 3 magnum uh, with a bit of a speed boost I mean if you haven't learned that by now you haven't played Reach but I was very you know confident with the Halo 3 magnum because I didn't like the AR in Halo 3 and so anytime those AR starts I tried to use the magnum exclusively I mean it was just as good for beatdowns if you could aim and you, know, you could use dual combos and all sorts of things so it was a good weapon but the reach magnum is just amazing I am not that great with the DMR I mean I can I can do quite well in uh, bigger maps but I'm not a good close range DMR fighter so I always switch to my magnum whenever possible and sometimes I fail like I did just then but I pick up an assist so I'm not complaining once again and here is a good example of how I like to play as a support player see this guy mow his shields down walk away I wasn't trying to get a plasma rifle or a plasma pistol kill I will be in a second um, but really it's about teamwork and keeping your teammates alive so that they can keep you alive I mean you learn that and you can dominate in this game quite efficiently hope we can talk again pretty soon hopefully some of you will have submitted some of your videos for uh, me and others to put commentary on because I'm kinda getting bored of doing my own because I'm not very interesting but I do like watching other people so feel free to add uh, yourself to the mix send me videos We'll see what can happen.